Well, the city of San Luis Obispo has talented artists everywhere with hole in the wall locations on every street. But what if I told you right in downtown is an art studio that tells the story of one of the greatest local athletes to ever live on the Central Coast? Welcome to Jean Francis Gallery. Everything in here I've used for props for my paintings. Kind of a history lesson. Gene Francis has owned his personal gallery in San Luis Obispo for over 20 years. It's an experience that hopefully you walk away with, not necessarily all about art, but about San Luis Obispo about history in America. Inspired by history and by his uncle. What I admire about Uncle Chuck is honesty and integrity. Chuck Estrada was born in San Luis Obispo. Well, I was born here, Uncle Chuck was born here, my grandpa was born here, my great grandfather came here on the Spanish land grant. He grew up in Santa Margarita, went to Atascadero High School, all before pitching in the major leagues. I was lucky enough to get a chance to play, which I knew, had no clue what it took to play in the big leagues. We didn't have professional baseball out here. You grew up with an icon in your family, and you know, he's always telling great stories. I was lucky enough to stay in baseball for 40 years. Within the gallery, Francis has held on to keepsakes of Estrada's days with the Baltimore Orioles. It is a reminder every time I come in here, and I glance up there that how lucky I really was to, uh, to make it to the big leagues here. Because there was only eight teams in each league when I played. With each item in the gallery holding its own story. In spring training, if you made the team, you got a, a uniform fit to the team. Allowing Estrada to recall his times facing the league's best players. The score is six to nothing in the sixth inning. And uh, all of a sudden, the bases are loaded, nobody out. And they yelled out, Chuck, are you ready? I said, no, but I will be. I got the first two outs, and my roommate, Brooks Robinson, Hall of Famer, he comes up and says, hey, Chuck, how are you going to pitch this guy? He said, turn around. It was Ted Williams. The best hitter in the game ever. Matching up with those who made history on the diamond. I threw him five fastballs and struck him out. The fans gave me a standing ovation. Estrada finished second in Rookie of the Year voting in 1960, with his fondest memory being a start on September 4th of that year. I said, what? The New York Yankees, Sunday afternoon, national TV? The best team in the history, of one of the best ever put together? I'm going to start. The now 85-year-old struck out Mickey Mantle three times that game in a 6-2 victory. It's crazy now that I look back. With the gallery offering a place to reflect and remember the journey to the top. The climb is better than the pinnacle. Well, let me just say there are about a hundred stories I did not get the chance to use in this particular story about the ride Uncle Chuck had to the big leagues. But as long as Chuck and his nephew Gene continue to call San Luis Obispo their home, the stories are always out there to be heard and told throughout the gallery. All right, that'll do it for sports. Back to you, Delaney. What a cool story. All right, thank you, Dusty.